Alright, I'm going to try and do a tying tutorial on my grass carp fly. I just use a piece of craft foam and some of the soft webby fibers from the bottom of a hackle feather. I like to tie it on a size 8 barbless hook. What I'm using is a Orvis tactical barbless hook size 8 and I'm using let's see size 8 aught uni thread and olive just gonna start that at the front of the hook and run that back for the foam craft foam I use 2 millimeter craft foam trimmed into a pseudo teardrop shape just to make tying it in a little easier. Fold it over to check. I'll move it back just a little bit more. And for the feather, I like to do a dubbing loop. Since I'm using such thin thread, it just makes it a little stronger. Not that it needs it. Pull the fibers out to one side. Put it in the dubbing loop. Allow it to catch the fibers. Come with my scissors and trim them all off of the stem. So it holds it kind of in line with the dubbing. And then I'll spread them out just a little bit, make it easier to wrap the full shank of the hook. Once it's twisted up, I'll take my brush and just kind of brush out the fibers a little bit. Not completely necessary. If you have a rotary vise, it makes it a little easier to dub it up. After each wrap, I just like to stroke them back. Leave a little bit of room at the front, tie down the foam. Secure the dubbing loop. And then snip off any excess. Very simple to tie. Create a little pad for the foam. And then I like to stroke the feather fibers down and to the sides. Try and spread them evenly on both sides. And then I just Take that craft foam disc over the top, give it a pinch with my nails to create like a little divot, and then tie it in right there. Grass carp are not very toothy fish, so you don't have to worry about glue or anything. Give it a quick whip finish. I like to do two, just one right over the other. And then maybe if you have a brush, give it a quick brush. And that is it. Floats nice and high. And bright green foam is easy to see.